Not so bad. Get this microphone sorted out, it'll be even better. Well, somebody's leaving already. Um, thanks for coming out. Very much appreciated. Your support is very much appreciated. Uh, we are the Paul Birchall Trio, or whoever he is. And uh, I just want to introduce uh, the two guys. One of them, who's pointing there? What are you pointing at, Steve? A bit more piano. Uh, Steve Gilbert on drums, all the way from uh, Alkington. <laughs> and uh, the wonder of Simon Golding on bass. In the we do actually have, it's a pretty rare thing that we have someone in who uh, built one of the instruments on stage. And uh, Mr. Rowland, no he's not. Uh, Tito Dalmido who is uh, a luthier from Preston, uh, built Simon's guitar. It's a custom made job. Have a look where you play. No? How much you don't want to know that? Uh, Simon oiled it last week, so uh, it was your bass, wasn't it, you talked about? Anyway, before I turn into a stand-up comic, uh, we'll move on. Uh, the, the opening tunes, I opened up with a little bit of uh, Electric Dreams by John Lebuckley, then we went into a bit of Donald Fagan, New Frontier. He mentions uh, Dave Brubeck in that song and uh, really led then on to a bit of a homage to Dave Brubeck who left us last year and uh, he also left us with some absolutely wonderful, wonderful music. Can we have a round of applause for Dave Brubeck? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry Dave, I did my best, but there you go. Um, th this is a tune by two of my favourite all-time songwriters, uh, Walter Becker and Donald Fagan. sound like if one of their tunes was featured on Strictly Come Dancing. I think they might sound something like this. If you feel like dancing, please go for it.
This song uh, fascinated me because this is the, probably one of the only times that Bill Evans ever played an electric piano. He, he, he was uh, enticed into playing the Fender Rhodes piano on this uh, particular album, the Bill Evans album. And, uh, apparently he went through about 20 pianos before he found one he was happy with. But the results were fantastic because he never played anything else. So. But uh, this is a tune called Funk of Air Road.
Thank you very much, Bob Galero, the great Simon Golding, and Steve Gilbert there, great advice. I just tried, I just spent all the time keep counting. I've had a break, thank you very much. Bear with me for a second. Hopefully we're going to do a tune now uh, by uh, what I consider, uh, who I consider one of the great composers of uh, our time, or any time actually. A chap called Wayne Shorter, who was the saxophone player famously of a band called Weather Report. And 
and uh, this is a tune called Three Marias. And uh, I'm just waiting for the computer to behave itself. I get a lot of sounds in front of me, though I'm not cheating. Or, uh, and occasionally, instead of doing solos, I might send an email. Thank you. 
That tune is difficult enough to play without having to reprogram you playing the keyboard during the course of it, but uh, we managed to get through it. That's a great tune, Three Marias. Um, another great Wayne Shorter. Speaking of greats, uh, we're going to do a tune now by the great Simon Goulding, wherever he is. Oh, yeah, it's here. Um, this is the title track of Simon's album, Familiar. And he's uh, just about to finish his new album, aren't he? And you're ready to go. We do have, al have an album as a trio called Magpie. Uh, but the record company can't get its uh, what's the word looking for? Shit together uh, to get it released. Uh, but uh, I'm sure that'll happen very soon. The record company, by the way, is me. <laughs> so I do apologise. It's all finished, all shiny, and all sounding wonderful. But uh, one of these days I'll get it together. But uh, Simon's album, familiar, is there's a few copies on sale there, isn't there, at the door? Yeah. If you do HP. Yeah, yeah, you can swap credits out if you need that. Anymore. But it's a, it's a lovely album. This is the title track of the album.
Thanks very much, we're going to take a short break and we'll be back with you very, very shortly. Thank you for listening. Cheers.